came from the United States, they have only one color, <laughs> yellow, cheese buses. But here, they paint in different colors. This bus has a very interesting history for me. 1950, 1960, people tried to take transportation by train, but we don't have train anymore. They had to use this kind of buses uh, from the highlands to the coffee farm was the only option to move from another place to the place where they find jobs. When I was a child, I said, when I will be old man, I want this bus. I have to say congratulations. You have the same uh, spirit to painting and fix this bus. Please take the bus forever and don't forget me. Thank you, goodbye. And began in 1993 and we continue to lead with coffee. Lead. That's why we're down here. That's why we have these relationships. That's why we do all this origin travel. We've got about 10 people here with a particular focus, this vintage 1958 Colectivo. We are here to, to close one chapter and open another. Uh, we're here to celebrate the organization and the culture and we're here to pick up one kick-ass bus. We are on the cusp of changing our name from Altera Coffee to Colectivo Coffee. public place and they are indeed a collector of people. They are both, when they're at their best, an accurate expression of the culture that produced them. Colectivos gather people at stops in the community and they, they bring people together. There are places where people form relationships. Our cafes are places where people gather. We bring many different people together from different walks of life. We have a Virginia, I mean, it's really something special that we celebrate. The kind of extended metaphors one can draw between the Colectivo and our cafes is nearly endless. You have activity times a million, you have color, you have noise, you have smells, you have commerce being done, you have people's lives being played out. There's a lot of life here. It's raw, it's, it's immediate, um, it's palpable, and it's, uh, it's invigorating. It drew us back to Latin America. It drew us back to the populist culture. It drew us back to the everyday men and women that, that work here. And it drew us to one of the primary touchstones of how work is done here in Guatemala, Central America, and South America, which is the colectivo. It's the mode of transport. It's the shared place. It's the beginning of the day and it's the end of the day. If our cafes could be put on wheels, I think they'd be collectivos. When we settled on the name, you know, it was, for me, it was like instant on because I also have this relationship with these buses 
18 years ago. It was not very much of a plan. I came here. I stood right here. I wanted to sort of immerse ourselves in this world so I could understand it, so I could understand where the coffee was coming from. When we got on the bus with everyone else, here we are, you know, we're, we're naming our company after the humble bus, but the bus is for everyone. We've always valued work and the work that our farmers do and the work that we do to translate the product into, into what our customers want and the work that our staff does. I, I think this is emblematic of how people have gotten to work here in Guatemala and it has moved people not only from uh, home to their businesses but very likely this bus has carried people to the place where the coffee has been harvested. I think it's really, it's so tightly wound into the whole story of who we are as an organization. I think it's perfect. When I think about this and when I think about where the organization is today, it, the fact of the matter is it's clearly the people that populate our organization. People are growing and growing into real roles of responsibility. They're learning a lot. They're growing as individuals. And when I can see that dovetailing with the organization and moving things forward in a positive way, that's just the coolest thing ever. It's time to be ourselves again. It's time to be just Ward, Paul, me, and, and all of the people that make the company great. It's time to be independent. It's time to be local. It's time to be quirky. It's time to be weird. Um, it's time to be whoever, basically, we want to be. Um, and that's, that's why we're down here.